the technology game moves very quickly in our sport, um, you know, and, and I think IndyCar has always been, uh, you know, at the forefront of, of moving, you know, the safety additions forward too, and, and not to rush. I think, you know, is is definitely the key. The first uh, run is basically going to be Indianapolis. You know, very happy to try and help and, and try and push this forward and, and be one of the drivers that, that you know can maybe help define you know the areas that, that may be tricky. But um, honestly, it's it's been you know very well done from the get go. How was the uh, visibility? Yeah, just as normal. So we'd like to try Iowa next, please. Okay. The next step of, of progress was to you know get it on the sim between IndyCar and everybody at Red Bull Technologies. It's just it's been very seamless. You know, I think uh, going from Indianapolis to Texas to Iowa to you know Barber to Long Beach, you know uh, all the different kind of uh, street courses and road courses. Uh, there were no visibility issues. You know it was uh, very similar to you know, the device that we have on the car right now. Every step of the process has been you know done very well. You know it's it's not uh, kind of throwing things and seeing what sticks. You know I think most of it has been proven previously, and you know getting to this portion even uh, you know on the simulator I think covers a lot of the bases that, that we'll see to when we get to the real world. You know maybe in uh, you know, 30 or 60 days with, with uh, the first generation. You gotta go through these steps just to make sure there's not something silly that we may have forgotten. It's been very good, you know, from, from the initial part to seeing the drawings to you know, having the hard piece right now. Another uh, piece of, of the puzzle is, you know, the driver extraction. Um, you know, we, we see different versions, obviously, from having the first aero screen to, you know, how drivers get out of the halo. I think this kind of has, you know, the best of both worlds. Um, you know, today, with the structure that we have, uh, is, you know, it's only going to get better you know, with different areas that you can pull on or, or utilize, but um, that doesn't seem like it's going to be an issue at all. Watch the Honda Indy Toronto, Sunday, July 14th at 3 p.m. on NBCSN.